Continuing coverage now of the huge fire at a commercial building in Muskegon late this afternoon. There are no injuries, but the smoke and flames caused a lot of concern in the community. 13 on your side's Kiara Patterson was there. She joins us now with how it started and reaction from witnesses. Yeah, Juliet, bystanders I spoke with say they were completely shocked after they heard a loud boom that sounded like an explosion. So when we tried to step a little bit closer, there was an explosion. Boom! I was like, oh no! Oh no, no! I didn't know what to do, but all I knew was to stay back, clear away. There's, there's a lot of smoke. On Wednesday afternoon, a spark caused large fire at a trailer rental company building in Muskegon. Quentin lives near the building and was playing basketball when the fire broke out around 3 p.m. He says he heard an explosion like a bomb went off before he saw the fire. It was an explosion that happened right there across the street and it, everything was engulfed in flames. And before I knew it, I had picked up my phone. I was like, let me get this on Facebook because this building has been there for a long time. It's kind of a tragic to watch it go. The smoke could be seen for miles. The deputy director of the Muskegon Fire Department says the fire started from welding happening inside of the facility. Apparently they were doing some welding and in the repair shop here, which is approximately 100 by 125. Uh, apparently got, the, got away from them quick, uh, caught a vehicle on fire and and the whole building just went within a matter of minutes. Investigators say the explosions people heard were from propane tanks blowing up and exploding pockets of gas in the facility. And electricity had to be turned off temporarily because firefighters were spraying water over power lines. Well, it's high, high tension or high current power lines and we're just afraid that maybe that current could go back up if we hit it with our hose or our water streams. So it's always a concern with electricity. No one was injured and Quentin tells me he hopes the building can be restored. Get the building right back to running and get it back, get back up for the community. It's such a tragedy to watch this building go. Reporting Kiara Patterson, 13 on your side.